Hey, happy Monday. Welcome to uh, the Betting Guy daily video, Finger Majiggy. Um, by the way, it's Monday, and every single Monday we have a Motivation on Monday uh, podcast out. If you haven't listened to it, just go search the Betting Guy on your iTunes or wherever it is, or go across to the bettingguy.co.uk and Motivation on Monday. We talk about the power of attraction today, the law of attraction. It's out now, 5 30. Boom. Right, okay, so I've got a back to lay for you today. And how did I get this back to there? Right, I went to my Dobbs tab, and the Dobbs has basically, uh, let's get the settings up here, it searches for all horses with a criteria, a dob percentage of over 80%. So that, that means that double or bust, the horse must have dobbed in 80% of the last five runnings. You can change these percentages up and down here to whatever you want, and you can change the form there to whatever you want as well. So that's the nuts of it. I can say to this software, show me horses that have dobbed 80% of the last five runnings. So four out of the last five runnings. Here uh, in the green co- in the green column, there it is down there. Um, I'm saying show me. Um, this doesn't affect the search, by the way. This is just like the mini search where you can actually see visually um, what they've done. So I'm saying in the last five runnings, I want um, the pit to be a percentage of horses a percentage of runs there in the last five that have decreased by over 75%. So show me horses that have decreased by over 45%. Just represent that in that column there. And here in the goal, show me horses that have decreased in price by 50%. Uh, represent it in the in the goal column. And display today, you can display handicaps if you want only. And voila, we are up and running. So I did that today and this is what we've got. And you'll see there is only two running today that have dobbed five out of the last five. Do 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 do, do these two. And so this piqued my interest straight away because of a price 3.85. So what I went was I went into the in running tool um, again and I went to the races tab. This 625, I organized it by Betfair Growing Price just to get a feel of the market. Now, when it's been zero, it means there's no money uh, being taken on this horse or not any money of any real value. So, therefore, it can't give you a Betfair Growing Price at the minute. So, the chances are this will be an outsider. And if we go here, ah, I ain't got it up. Never mind. It will be outsider now. Uh, yeah, there we go. Sporty, sporty Yankee. So, uh, yeah, outsider there. Um, so, fearsome. This is the one we're looking at. And here's a bit fair graph for us. Don't give us too much information at this time over there. And so straight away, there's that one that one we're supposed to be concentrating on. I want to know what that one does as well. The fact that it's only dobbed once of the last five as well is very interesting to me because if that goes out, this will go in. Whatever goes out, something's got to come in. Um, and there's Fra- Faka as well, 5.4. I think I pronounced that right. I watched some replays of Faka this morning. Um, so what I want to do is go across to, I'll tell you what, let's, first of all, let's start having a look at some information from Fearsome. And look, 2.09, 2.2. Now, the big thing here is held up in fourth. Track leaders entering final two finals. So this horse is held up. So if a horse is held up and doesn't really go much higher than the Betfair SP, 2.09, Betfair high in play was 2.2, then it must be travelling well. It must be really travelling well. And when horses travel well, it has a positive impact on the market. When a horse is on the bridle, travelling through the race, doing it from Geasley, then it has a positive impact on the market. It goes positively down. (laughs) Anyway, here. Steady and short of room leaving stalls, held up towards rear, still towards rear, and not clearest of runs, just over two falling out. 2.6. Won the race, but only went as high as 2.86. Now, I can't believe that. I watched a replay of that one. I've watched a replay of all of them. Um, so if we just go to Fearsome, I want to show you this, because this is quite incredible, the fact it never, ever went much higher in play. And if it did, it, it tells me that the people who do in-play trades, who are actually playing the market, know what this is like. I can't remember what stall it's in. Stall 6. There it is. It's got a red hat. There's a the cause there. Right, so it's... Held up, right back. Let's fast forward it. There it is. Uh, there it is, right back. Can't believe, still, it hasn't gone much higher than the Betfair SP. It's crazy, but look how it's travelling. Travelling really well. Here. I don't know what position this is in yet. Is it in the free fail on pole coming up? Or is it the four fail on pole? You think I'd know, wouldn't you? <laughs> I don't. Fourth Ellen Paul. 
Right, so four films out, still traveling. Just fast forward a little bit. And look, can't get through. Still traveling well. Adam Kirby there is just getting ready to push him along. Just, just letting the horse know, hey, we're gonna go. We're gonna be going soon. We're gonna be going soon. Just letting the horse be alert. Still, two point eight six. Zach's up, by the way. Surprise. Still, two, not as high as. Don't go higher than two point eight six. Now we think he's gonna win. Only oh, now, and it was travel. It was traveling well all the way through the race, wasn't it? And so that's interesting. Um, the second favorite supposed to be joint being the favorite here um this is a race i geek out on these sort of things when i was a uh I'm a professional when i saw the betting shop or trying to be a professional um these are the sort of races i geek out on because um faka the third favorite actually ran against the favorite last time out as well and nearly beat it and obviously it's a handicap so there's weight, weight differences as well um yeah probably geek out on these sort of things right so let's watch I've watched the last three runs of his horse, and it was second off a bridle here. Second to, yeah, second off a bridle here. Um, and another horse, is it's been probably first off a bridle in most of its other races I've, I've watched. And so when a horse is off a bridle, that means one thing. It means that the price is going to go up. If a horse comes off a bridle, the price goes up. If you use it as a, as a normal metric, a normal rule, that's what happens. And so if this price will go up, um, then... Then, uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to think what to say. Um, so if it's, if, I'm thinking about something else, aren't I? I'm clearly thinking about something else. Right, so if a, if a horse comes off a bridle, then it normally goes up in price, simple as that. Right, let's get to the business end of, uh, business end of this. So that one's first off a bridle. Oh, well, I can't really say that just yet. Is that the fourth Ellen Pearl? <laughs> Here it is, fourth Ellen. Right, so that's the first off a bridle. And you'll soon see this one. There we go. Starting to go, starting to go, starting to go, starting to go. Starting to go. Gone. There we go. So, and then that, that one made a real positive move there. I mean, maybe it's a bit harsh that he's off a bridle, uh, one of the earliest. But all the, other, all the other races that I've seen, this horse comes off a bridle, gets vigorously ridden along. It's almost like this horse doesn't do anything quick. Look, you see, he's been off a bridle for... Oliver fell on and hasn't hasn't picked up whatsoever. And so I believe this horse, from what I've seen, is this horse needs to be vigorously red, ridden along, to then get going. Some horses just take some time to go, they don't have an instant kick. This is one of those horses. It doesn't have an instant kick. It's it's one paced um, as soon as it comes off a bridle. And then it slowly, slowly, slowly starts getting to top gear. However, our horse doesn't does have the instant kick. But the great thing about having the instant kick is to, to go with that is I suppose in poker terms, the ace kicker is the fact that it travels well as well. It travels so so well, and when it travels well, then it comes into the comes into the race so easily, and then the market reacts to that. And it doesn't really matter what happens from there if it's got an instant kick or not. The fact that this horse will come off a bridle really relatively early, um, judging by all the historical data we've got, the historical Betfair data, it um, it's saying it doesn't go down in price very much or doesn't dob. It's not um, a prolific dobber. Um, and so therefore, um, it gets ridden along early because we can see by the other races. And with, um, what's his name? I forgot his name. Fearsome. With Fearsome, it just travels really, really well into the race. Now, I know by the time, I've, I just want to show you one little thing though. Um, this is why I geek out on this race. If you look at this, fuck, that one's reposed again today. And we'll just... So that's fuck, in the pink. Their house is uh, Fakak at the back. Makes a real play for this race. Yeah. This Remember, Fakak was coming back after Fakak, whatever they call it, was coming after a 300 day break as well. Um, so it was a really, really good run, in my opinion, anyway. But look, uh, just starting to get a little on there. We'll go out in price because of that, but then watch this boom. I don't think the jockey thought he'd pick up so quickly because I don't know if he won't actually he wanted to hit the front so soon. Look at our horse, still travelling like a champ. Look at that. Off a bend. This horse goes into the lead. And all of a sudden our horse is like, whoa, shit, <laughs> they're leaving me behind. But that only went to 2.23 or something in play that day. And so it was always going to get there on the running. 
but that was after a 300 day break so it was a good run but the way that traveled suggests that there's more and if you look at the um form of this race it's all working out well there hasn't been a winner come out of the race however all the horses have posted a higher um, racing post racing anyway guys so that is my back to lay for you guys today fearsome and um, don't know what percentage you guys are going to do but i reckon it will decrease in price okay thank you so much for joining me i am dmb it's been 10 minutes speak to you soon bye bye